In this session, we will talk about fish feeds and feeding systems in fish farms. Fish feed represents 60 to 70 percent of the total operating costs of fish farms. This means special care should be given to fish feeding process. Fish farmers must use the correct types of feed for their fish. They should select high-quality feeds from a trusted source. The feed should have a product label with details of the feed ingredients as well as the production date. Fish feed is valuable, but its nutritional value will be reduced if it is not stored properly. Store feed in a well-ventilated, properly designed store, away from direct sun, heat or moisture to avoid development of mold and toxins. Fish feed should, if possible, be provided to the fish in several meals each day. Unless you have automatic feeders, this will require more labour than feeding once a day, but it is very important, particularly for small fish. When hand-floating fish feed, feed from the most common wind direction. It is recommended to use a feeding ring made from a floating plastic pipe. This will hold the feed pellets inside it without them floating away. It will stop feed getting stuck in the pond dikes where it attracts birds and is harder for the fish to reach. There are other feeding methods apart from hand feeding, such as automatic feeders and demand feeders. Simple demand feeders help to reduce feed loss and improve feeding efficiency. The feed pellets are dropped only when the fish hit the pendulum as they look for feed around the feeder. The farmer should aim to feed his fish a percentage of biomass in each pond. The amount can be worked out from feeding tables, usually supplied by the feed company. Smaller fish are fed higher percentage of their biomass compared to the bigger size fish. The farmer should also observe what is happening in each pond as he feeds. Using floating fish feed makes this easier. If feed is consumed within 10 to 15 minutes, this means that the quantity of feed given to the pond is sufficient. If there is still feed after this period, the farmer should reduce the ration. 